Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can fix calendar invitation cannot be sent on iPhone. Now, this error often occur when uh, you are trying to respond to a notifications on the calendar, either accept or reject. And when the notification fail to send, then your phone will attempt to keep um, resending the error every five or six minutes, and hence you are getting uh, the pop-up error uh, showing you that there is a an error with your uh, calendar. So I'm going to show you how you can fix it. Uh, a, diff a, num a different number of solutions. So you can try uh, the first one. If the first solution does not work, you can try the second or the third solution. And hopefully one of the solutions uh, will work for you. Okay, first let's go back to your home screen by swiping up. And this is for iOS. 14. I'm currently running on iOS 14. Now we're going to tap on settings in the settings screen. We want to swipe down and tap on mail and then tap on accounts. Then open up the uh, accounts that you have the calendar. So here I got Gmail and then in here I got calendars. So I'm going to switch it off. And I said delete from my iPhone. So don't worry about this message. Your data will, will not be deleted it's just basically removing the the account link to the calendar it actually does not remove any data so just tap on delete from my iPhone and that's just basically turning it off and then after that you can restart the device so we start the device and then switch back on okay after you have turned off switch your phone back on once your phone starts up, you can try to open up the calendar and see if the error goes away. If the error is still there, you can go back and make sure you turn off other accounts that you have added to your device. So again, we go back in here and go down to the mail. And then in here, I've got accounts, so accounts. And then I've got iCloud accounts. I try to go in here, iCloud, and switch off calendar. And again, switch off and then restart your phone. So continue to do this for all the other accounts that you have. Uh, one by one, you see if the error goes away. Uh, later, once you start up your calendar, you can always uh, switch it back on. If the errors go away, you can go on here and turn it back on. So that is the first solution is by turning off the calendar on your uh, connected account. So turn it off on your connector account and restart the device and see if that fix the problem. Uh, most people find this solution works for them. If, this, if it does not work for you, you want to move on to the next solution. Now, another solution that you may want to do uh, is simply just by restarting your device. So even if you don't, if you want, you can try this one first. So you want to simply restart your device first and see if that uh, fix uh, the calendar issues. If it does not, uh, fix the issue then perhaps maybe you can proceed to uh, turn off your calendar in the accounts so it's up to you uh, which one you want to try it first now if this one does not work then we will try uh, a different solution okay another solution is to uh, go into your iCloud and turn off the sync calendar turn it off we start your device and turn it back on so from the home screen you tap on settings then tap on your iCloud account and you go down and tap on iCloud and in here you want to tap on calendars then tap on uh, either choose keep on my phone or delete from my iPhone so I'm going to choose uh, keep and then after that you want to restart the iPhone so we start so turn it off and then pressing on the power button uh, to switch back on. So we just have to wait for it to switch off first. And then we're going to uh, switch it back on. Okay, once your phone is back online, we're going to go back into settings, into your iCloud. And now we're going to turn back on the calendar. So turn this option back on. And then now start the calendar and see if the error go away. Now another thing that you might want to do is make sure your software is up to date. So if there is a recent update, then make sure you update your software to the latest version. So in settings, you want to, uh, so back to settings, and then you want to go down to um, maybe in general. So go into general, and then software update, and the file will 
uh, tells you if there is an update. If there is an update, make sure you update it to the latest version. So you can do that, give that a try. And another thing that you could try is to force the calendar app to close. So what you want to do is if you are running uh, with a newer model of iPhone, you can swipe up to open up the recent app screen. And then you can swipe up to close it. So this will force the app to close. And in here, now when you tap on the calendar, it will reopen uh, with a new instance of the calendar in the memory uh, location. So that's how you can force restart your calendar app. Give that a try and see if that works. Now, if you have an older model where there is a home button, you can double click on it. Uh, double click on the home button to open up your recent apps. And from there, you can close your calendar app. Now, I hope one of these solutions uh, will work for you. Uh, hopefully, uh, the first one that works for you uh, straight away. And yes, uh, if you do still have a problem, uh, please leave a comment or if you have other workaround, uh, please share uh, what you have done to get it working in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.